Hello, everyone. I'm Ghost Finley. How are you doing? Back from buttons. Um, going to do a bit of training here. So, but it's going to have some nice bits and pieces of hilarity. I'm going to be doing this with a few other people. Now, this is going to be the bo most boring part right here in the beginning. But after this, it's going to pop up with a few more stuff, a little bit more interesting. <clears throat> yeah, just to let you guys know, if whenever Knives comes on and you just look at her helmet, even though it's the same as y'all's, if y'all get that strange feeling like you're about to get killed, don't worry, that's normal. It's 100% normal. Everyone in the unit has that feeling and agrees. Well, I'll be honest with you guys, I'll probably be the first one to die because I'm that type of person that likes to stand in the front. So. We... To the jump zone. User loves oh. your channel. Your channel. This is nice. Ah, uh, the lag. Oh yeah, there's my textures. And there's my frames. <laughs> your friend. Yeah. I still got frames. Oh uh, yeah, kick she won't be able to do it until after the first. Yeah, I know. Okay, one moment. I'm going to put two more targets out for you guys to test out your weapons on before we begin the actual testing, and then we'll go from there. idea what's happening to this target that I just tried to place so are you using droids or just like white the yellow targets I mean target plates yellow I'm targets. using yellow plates if you look out in the town now um, and you guys are free to look around you will see a bunch of yellow plates out there do me one favor though while you're looking out in the town do not mark ranges yet because when I will explain this to you um, now but when we do this field training exercise the test will be this <laughs> it will be I will give you a target, one of the, there's targets spread out all over that town, I will give you a marked location on the map, and you'll be, and you, this is honor rules, so if you guys cheat, that's on you to fucking be disappointed in yourself, but I will ask you to, without using range finding tools, to use your map, use topographical markers, use other general tools that you already are familiar with at your disposal, um, to find the location and give me the best guess of the range on said target. And then I will tell you the actual range, and then you will proceed to fire at it, and I will track your guest range, the actual range, and how many shots it takes to hit the target. Is that clear to everybody? Yep. Yep. Cool. So, um, let me hop back into my person. So, why don't you go ahead and pop? Um, so, um, that said... You guys can now, at this point, look around the town, mark up distances, ranges, don't tr if it is. Marked on the map. So do for do me a favor, without using your rifle right now, use your binoculars and the non, uh, use your binoculars so that you're not getting the automatic range on it. And give me your best guess as to what the range of the target I designated for you is. Mm. I'm just going to tell you this right now, I have very shit percep depth perception and guesses of range, but I'm going to guess that's about 500 to 550. Okay. Um, and that, that is also quick. one of the ones I spotted earlier, too, just to let you know. Well, good eye, then, because that's one of the offside ones. I didn't think you guys would be looking that far out. <laughs> Dude, um, I mean, you're me who's done Marsman before in pubs. You have to freaking have good eyes. Uh, no, wait one second. While I'm I'm all tabbed writing down the uh, okay. the guess and the actual. Uh, do you want to know what the actual was? Sure. I got six forty six. Six forty six. Huh, I wasn't that b off. I was actually going to originally say six, but my brain was saying nah. It's tough. That's that. This is basically for is make you know. We had fucking, when we did it with Crimson, he straight up drew a Pythagorean theorem on the map and got within two meters. Of really? It, but other people have just been guessing, so it's really, he used it's, it's all a matter of how you want to do it. 
okay. Apparently, if using freaking geometry does get do something for you. Yeah, he he used nerd. He got nerd points on his. <laughs> that sounds about right. Want me to go ahead and take right, a shot? I tap back in. So now you are free to engage once I've stopped standing on you. Nice one shot, one kill. Good job. You can uh, shoot it a bunch more times if you want to test out your weapon. Uh, I'm going to mark that down. Good stuff. <laughs> I shot it before it even came up. You did. That is what skill is. <laughs> so do it without your range finding tactics or range finding tools. Give me your best guess as to what that range is. And then we'll go from there. Say it's about uh, 500. 500? Zero, zero. Would you like to know the actual? Odin? Would you like to know the actual? Uh, yeah. I got 554, so good job. Um, now, I will say... Good hit. You can now engage that target and have fun with it. Do it, guys. Uh, you didn't pull what I'd pulled off. Ways to scan and all that jazz. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Yeah, that was the last one I spotted. I'll tell you how many total targets there are if you guys would like. Yeah. Uh, don't use your, your gun for this. Use your gun. What's that? Uh, Press B. You said I can use my binoculars? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't. The the weapon scope has automatic range finder. That's why I just say don't use it for this. That's but fine. without without clicking the auto range find, just give me your best guess as to what that distance is. I think that's it. Uh, I, I'd say. Fuck, why are you aiming down? Okay. Uh, I'm not looking at it anymore. Nah, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, map. Want me to help you refind it? If that's allowed to help him refind it. I'd say, I'd say 500, I think. Okay. Uh, do you want to know the actual? Yeah. 538. My reading is, yep, 538. So pretty good guess. I'm the only I'm one that is know. not the most accurate oh. in guessing distance. This is also the farthest, which is hard. And I, I gave you that intentionally because you're I've seen you around a lot more. Yeah, you've seen that I have some pretty damn good eyes if I just look. Yeah, the farthest, the farthest actual target distance that we've had in the test was 847 meters and they hit it in two shots. I don't even know where They're, that one would be right now. Uh, it's if you look at the soccer field to our left. Where yours yeah. was, you'll see on the other side of that, there's a road that goes and like kind of cuts the town in half yeah. again. If you go out to that gas station, it's a couple buildings down past that road. You'll start hitting uh, about 870, and that's where they were. Uh, it's just over the gas station behind the soccer field. Uh, can you set it down? Is. I want to see if I can hit it with one. Put mark on the map. I think that's the act. I think that's the location it is. Might there it is. In front of that, but if you look the direction, that's where it is. I know you got it. Hey, nice one. It's dead center. Yeah, don't doubt me and my sniping ability. I, I mean, even with that regular DC-15, I might be able to hit it. The first question is, can I even see it through that? Yeah, you got an iron sight. Oh, no, I don't use iron sight. In fact, let me go grab my um, regular kit. I don't use iron DC, sights. I'm sorry. One more time. 15, I'll try 15. that one more time. The DC-15 um, is actually effective with high energy rounds about to, I'd say, only 100 meters short of the same range as the Valken is. The main di the main discrepancy is just the optics on it. Uh, if you use the the DC-15, the custom DC-15 with iron sights, you can actually hit probably that target fairly nicely. 
Okay. I'm gonna do it with the Falcon with iron sights. <laughs> First, you have to get your regular crosshairs over it. Alright, I'm just gonna take a shot where my iron sights are covering it. Wait. I can't see it from here with irons in this. I my iron sight is bigger than the target, so it'll be a guess if I'm gonna actually hit it. Oh no! Not even, dude. No. It was goddamn high. <laughs> you will see via my replay. I get. It's interesting we have crosshairs in this because technically you could probably put the crosshair on it much more accurately. Yeah. Ha! Oh! DC fifteen A. Confirm that. Damn. Yeah, so like Center. I said, <laughs> of course I am using the sight. I am using the um, um, hollow th uh, um, X3. So as Finn just proved to everybody, you were still equally effective with that high energy round on the DC-15. I'm glad you did that. That was a medium way. round. I don't future. use high energy for distance. Well, fair, but either way, it would have. It's it is the equivalent though, power wise. If you'd used a high energy, it would have been essentially the same shot you get with the Falcon. Just you had to put a lot more work into it, and it was way more impressive. So, good job. <laughs> um, now, going to up the teacher. part two, you guys all kicked ass in part one. Like I said, first group that's ever done it all in a single shot. So, good shit. Think I could do um, it with this? Oh, fucking hell. I'm <laughs> what is that? Everybody clear back line right like, quick. You're free to fire. Oh, I didn't hit it, but <laughs> damn. Let's, let's call him dead. <laughs> oh, right. it's dead. So, moving on to part I'll two. I'll be back. This is, this is my favorite part here. Uh. And that people right there is why I say I'm pretty much a marksman all naturally. Personal with anything, it's just a matter of you guys react way better and con more consistently than droids do. So, the way this part's going to work is I'm going to break you up and you'll go, into, you'll go into two teams. One team will be a single operator who will have the choice of deploying anywhere inside the, like within, uh, we'll discuss where to deploy you, but you will be teleported to anywhere within this whole town in front of us. And the other two, which I will also teleport you guys out into a marked area, which I will designate an AO. And what's going to happen is I will mark on the map a designated AO. It'll be about the size of a city block. The two of you the two who will be, quote, we'll call them defenders in this case, will be able to use your DC-17. So no long-range uh, Valken, but you can use your sidearms and any of the other tools at your disposal. And you two will purely be out there to just patrol. You can set up a point that you can overwatch. You can do whatever the fuck you two coordinate to do. Your only job will be to, and you won't know when he's coming, but the one person will be the, quote, offensive person. And what I'll do is I'll send you out there and I'll give you a building. Your goal will be to get to that building and then get out of the AO. That's all you got to do. You don't have to kill anybody. No, you could. I had a group that did this. Mo the most successful group didn't fire a single shot. They snuck in. They got to the location. They radioed me and I told them get out and they did. And it was great. It was the quickest, cleanest, whatever. The objective here, the reason we do this FTX is oftentimes when you lay that eight, that shot down on your HVT, say there you have to confirm a kill or maybe collect intel off a body, a lot of times it will still fall on the marksman to have to do the suicide and crawl up to that corpse and get it. So this here is not really a test, but more just a fun little practice to show you guys the stress that you'll be under when you have to do that. So, so that said, does anybody want to be the lone wolf first? So let me get this right. So the lone wolf yep. is trying to get past the um, two guys that are patrolling around, but does not exactly have to kill them. He doesn't have to kill them. Now, the lone wolf can use whichever... He can use his Falcon. He can use his DC. You can use whatever you want to take the targets. To You can take them down. You can just walk in and avoid them. It's however you want to do the, the approach as the single player. The only goal, Your only objective is to reach the location and get out. Yeah, go ahead. Um, can I go ahead and be the um, bad guy? Fuck yeah, you can. <laughs> well, bad guy being the guy attacking oh, yeah. or defending. Okay, yeah, so... Here's how it's going to work. <laughs> the two of you, Sixer and Odin, join up on each other as a party. Finn, you're going to join up on me so that I can mark your thing on the map, your objective on the map, without them seeing it. Yep. 
There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do for everybody is I'm going to go into the map, and on the global, I'm going to mark the area of operation, and you will all know this AO, so it's okay if you all see this now. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say this, I'm the most patient person you're ever going to find. Have fun! <laughs> Finn is gonna have a fucking field day. You have no idea how many times I've used those words. <laughs> Otacon, do you read me? This is not copyright, by the way. Jump zone, do you read? Read you loud and clear, Finboy. Roger. Just let you guys know, this is going to definitely be a boring part. But it is going to be the fun part for me. Just make them paranoid. So first. There's the hospital. There's the objective. User left User or joined channel. your channel. Seems like a standard ass patrol. You get there, Finn? Oh, yeah. I'm just taking my time.
one minute has passed. Makes it actually a lot harder. Not to put pressure on the situation. Try not to take all day, but do take your time. Oh, don't worry. I'm taking my time. I understand. I mean, I, I know what you're doing. You're trying to make them freak out and think they're under pressure. So, um, but I'm just letting you know. They probably will get, at some point, confused. Don't worry. It's not like I'm putting pressure. I'm doing time. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's only been three actual minutes, so I'm not, I, it, you know, the time actually hasn't passed all that much yet. But to them, it probably feels like it's been three hours already. <laughs> Missing patrol, that is never good. Up oh, there they are. So it's actually a variable time. See, oh, that's what that is. Nothing useful to me. Okay. move myself to a new building. I want the fail shot. Should have taken the shot when they were die failing. But now they're scared. They also now know that I'm not always 100% sure about it.
don't respond, but if you do take damage from climbing things, just let me know. It was the northeast again. Maybe, maybe direct east, direct east. <laughs> no, no, he, he might not be at the hospital. But right, you see where I'm at? Look where I'm at the market on the map. Christ, how are you not dead?
thought you had that. I thought you had that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. He well done. Man. That was awesome, you turned guys. Around at the right time, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I looked at my map and I saw that there was a blue dot moving behind me. I went, hold on, what? I turned around. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait, no, I don't have my GPS. You can see them on the map because we're all Oh, yeah, yeah, right. If they get close, yeah, you're yeah, right. I can see. Like yeah. Yeah, you can actually hear I, Well, mark one, I heard like. Sixers speaking. I was like, okay, so he must not have been the one I shot at earlier when I missed. But let me tell you this right now. Let me tell you, let me show you where I was when I took that shot. Oh, we know where you were. There. <laughs> we were watching, bro. Yeah, he, he fucking sat there for a <laughs> while just so you guys would start thinking he was already in the zone. And once you started doing your patrols more drastically, then he started taking shots. Yeah, I actually took notes. Right, to I actually took notes. Um, Who was actually doing the patrol around the block? Me. Sixer, you took about a minute and 20 to do a full run. It, sometimes it varies. <laughs> All right, let's see. I Can literally you took to notes on your ass. Yeah, it, it had to vary because I knew I we were taking notes. Throwing, I thought throwing the thermal detonator first, but I didn't know if I could reach you up there. Oh, so you knew exactly where I was when I yeah, executed. As soon, as soon as I got knocked down, he, he knew where you were at. Yeah, he he went right below you on the edge of the building. I was like, ooh, Odin might get me. How do I know how many times, uh, how fucked you guys were when I was finished popping you? Well, we weren't sure say... whether you were aware that you're getting flanked because fucking Odin came in hot <laughs> after you did that. Yeah. Everybody was up here watching going, oh, God. I was actually. The thing, the, is, the, thing, and you were the thing is how close, how close I was to the building. Yeah, I still didn't see his dot. But, you know. Probably because you didn't, because I was very much so quiet. Here, I'm back on normal. Yeah, he, he was laying down that whole time. It, it'll show up if you hear footsteps, like it'll mark on the map temporarily where they where that was last known sight. Or I was actually also going to plan to get down to hunt down Odin or get to my marker, because right now I have it still marked on my um. As a um movable well, it point, as, it counts as completed. By the way, if you get both kills, it counts as you make it an out, but. Yeah, that was. I still like, have a, a um objective marker right there. I mean, yeah, yep. we said you were a bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> bounty hunter Finn. Jump said he was gonna get you a Mandalorian. <laughs> hold on, hold that thought. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't think you need that big thing on your back. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> Shit, run. <laughs> I'll be right back. Here's the fun part. And who else is going out there? It's Odin's going with them. Yep. Yeah, Odin and Finn are going to. Come on. Okay. Mission is officially live. Affirmative. Okay. Copy. Could be any of these buildings. So we do this. Go on to the other side of the, um... Crap, if we had more people, we could easily do this. He's probably going to definitely come from the north pit, so we'll do this. Uh, let me go into... Group. Possession it off. I get the, um... S Southwest, and you get to northeast. User okay. left User or joined channel. your channel. He's probably going to come from okay. the northeast, but just patrol around that area. I got shot at. Moving. He's on my building. I can see the blue marker. And the one inside. Do you think? Sounded close. He must be within the AO somewhere.
I got an idea that's going to keep cut me off. But I'm going to set down a radio somewhere and see if he takes the bait. It's going to be on the speaker, so keep that in mind. Check, 70. 70 Lima Charlie. Okay. Crap, that didn't work exactly how I wanted. Finn, do me a favor and make sure you're back off of 70. Oh, shit. Then make sure you're off of seven zero. Sorry, my Sorry, fault. Sorry, my fault. I was just guessing was something. Guessing something. Oh, then. Cool. Did you just run past a little villa? No, I'm inside a building. At any point recently. What? Found him. Show me him. Go in his position. Um, he is to the northwest. Got it, got it, got it. We win. Mission's over. Prepare for teleportation. <laughs> Sorry about that, Sixter. <laughs> Dude, you almost got me with that shot. Odin, come on. Did I break him by teleporting him when he was dead? Um, I know he's nah. Dead. Okay. That was a close one, Odin. Sixer, you that almost got close. me. If I, I really didn't take that sidestep, if I didn't take that sidestep when I fired, I would have been dead. That was a I good one, boys. So I was on your butt. So, overall, it was, I mean, these are, again, these aren't pass or fail situations, so um, it's more just an observation of procedure uh, and just a little like what I noticed. Uh, Sixer, the only thing that we really noticed was, and uh, granted, you don't have GPS, so you can't always tell where you are, but you actually, have a map. when you fired that first shot, and they didn't actually even approach you, which was nice, you, you, got, you got pretty lucky there, because um, you engaged them really close with your Falcon, but uh, when they didn't come after you, you, we all up at, up at top here looked at the situation, granted we have more vision than you do of the situation, but you should have then gone to the west and south like southern approach to your objective whereas then you went east and then south mm -hmm. and what ended up happening was they both the the opposition once you fired they started sweeping the town and they went north and then east and then south and what happened was you basically ended up going around the outside in the same pattern staying equally as far but keeping them between you and the objective which is exactly what happened when you went for that final approach it was only a matter of time before what happened was Finn just happened to be looking out the window and at my spot that I I saw him actually run past where I laid my trap. Did you hear my trap? Your trap. Did you hear a radio go off? Speaking. Damn it. Yeah. But you did. <laughs> did yeah, you check it out? Well, we got it. Nope. What happened though was we got because you used radio seven zero was that was our frequency. Yeah. So we just got it in our actual headphones. Yeah, that one's on me. Used any other? Yeah, if you used another frequency, I was... we would have heard it as an actual entity on the map making noise. Ah, okay. So I should have so switched it to seventy and use my radio. To that just happens to be within. Hmm. 
Sixer, come here. So how are we gonna do this? Well, considering, well, let's look at this bit. We have elevator position right there, where I can be up there and just use my thermals and hide it basically, up to here, while you just, just yeah. um look around on the ground, see if I don't like in the alleys and such. I got you. Let's go. Okay, you ready to move on? Copy that defense mission is live. Oh, That would have been, this would have been a perfect thing to do. I'm literally saying, hey, I'm up here. Okay, I'm going to be on set now. I got a good, pretty good eyes set up here. User you are killing me, sir. <laughs> I'm not a sir, for love of God, stop saying that. <laughs> I watched you the whole time, made me laugh. <laughs> Again, you don't know how many tricks I have in Arma. <laughs> it is not even that many hours. It's only about a thousand hours. And copy that, Sixer. Behind. He's coming from the southwest. This is Sixer. Affirmative. Negative. Fuck. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I fell in it, but I'm fine. Shit. Just with a broken leg. Broken legs from falling. Just keep hunting that area. Did you fall in and you can't get up? No, I fall in and I'm up. I just can't run. And parkour was so cool until it didn't work. Yeah, it was all my fault. Sister keep in ra constant radio contact. And make sure you watch above you. Every like 10 seconds, check in. Double tap to zero. I'm up on the rocks, like, trying to Don't sit. There's a good chance he fell into the water. I'm currently on the north, northeast side of this tower right now. Affirmative. Oh, 
Contact. He's down, he's down. Reload it and put finish him off. And he's dead. With broken legs here, damn it. But a disadvantage because Finn was in the highest spot of the entire map. I know, I wanted to be there to, uh, for Jump to teleport me there, and I saw him climbing, and I was like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> I, was, I even said, just go, just, just, uh, I just went, six, go, go on um, patrol around, I'm going to go climb up this mountain. And shoot you as soon as he teleported me. <laughs> It was but one of those things no, where I, I saw I was, him before I was in the game, so it's not okay. Well, it, well, honestly, it was one of those things where, like, I was thinking of it, what you could have done there, and you were standing at the top, and we were all watching Finn climb up the side, facing us. Like, it's not like Finn was being discreet. And realistically, if it was an operation, you watched the enemy climb up a mountain, you could shoot them. I was going them. to shoot him, there, but That's I thought, right. okay, I'm not in the game yet, so I'm going to ask for another location. <laughs> But then he did fall and break with his legs. Yes, but hit. but I still killed him. I just literally walked. I, know. I was yeah. like, it was one of those things. It was one of those things where I was like, if it was Armageddon and that happened, I'd full heal you guys for like breaking your legs. But I was like, honestly, he did that one to us. Oh yeah, I even said that was on me. <laughs> Once the farthest shot that one of you had to take today was 554. The closest was 538. So you guys were all pretty close in the actual distances, um, in, term, in terms of what the range was, and you all hit it first shot. Fantastic. Um, no other group has hit it all first shot, although there have been first shots hit at longer ranges. Uh, the longest range that was hit first shot was Fox hit one at 750, um, which was neato. Uh, in terms of the guest ranges, the closest guest range today was a 500 meter guest by Sixer to a 538 meter actual um the closest overall of all the applicants who have taken this guess was let me check this real quick was crimson with a 588 guess or i'm sorry a 590 guess and a 588 actual two meters yeah that was that was he drew pythagorean theorem though he literally mapped that out um i don't have the time closest, to do that Nobody has that time. In terms of closest actual guess without using math to do it, um, we had also, it was probably a tie between Spartan and, no, Spartan uh, guessed a 650 to a 645 actual. Um, Fox had a pretty close one. He guessed six, uh, 762 to a 750 shot. Um, so you guys were not in that that top but like i oh, said no. first shot hit for everyone first time i've seen that so good job if you come just know corporal finn is slick <laughs> very slick yeah but he's good. patient <laughs> so all right guys good job you're all dismissed officially if you have any